Hey guys, Andrew Swift here with another Line 6 Helix video. In this video I want to show you a really cool feature that's been one of the biggest Line 6 end user requests, the ability to use impulse responses. An impulse response is essentially a sonic fingerprint of the acoustical characteristics of a physical space or a device such as a speaker. IRs have been used for years in convolution reverb plugins, giving audio engineers accurate reproductions of some of the world's most iconic spaces and concert halls. More recently, a trend has emerged of capturing impulse responses of speakers to use in guitar processing, giving guitarists access to classic cabinet configurations captured with high-quality mics and outboard gear. Line 6 has listened to user requests, and Helix has the ability to load up your favorite third-party IR library via the Helix app. So then, you might be wondering why I'm holding an acoustic guitar when I'm talking about impulse responses. Well. Remember I said that an impulse response is like a sonic fingerprint of the acoustical characteristics of a space? Just tap the body of an acoustic guitar, and you'll hear that it has its own acoustic characteristic, which means it's possible to use the impulse response of an acoustic guitar body to improve the tone of a piezo pickup. Now I'm going to make a really quick patch to demonstrate this. So first off, let's hear the piezo sound so we have a reference. So now I'm going to select Impulse Response for the first block. I've already loaded Helix up with the IR I want using the Helix app, so I can just go ahead and select it using the encoder. I'll assign Foot Switch 2 to turn the IR on and off, so you can compare the difference between the raw piezo sound and the sound processed through the Impulse Response. So once again, here's the piezo sound. Now here's the sound processed through the impulse response. So sounds pretty good. Definitely has more resonance. Now I can go ahead and add any other effects I like. For the sake of time, I'm just going to add a little room reverb for a bit of ambience but of course it's possible to fully trick out the patch with all the other options Helix has to offer. So bear in mind that as of this video, Helix doesn't come with any impulse responses of its own, but as you can see in here, the ability to load up third-party IRs, whether they are of speaker cabs, acoustic instruments, or other spaces, opens up new avenues to sound customization in Helix, making it a very versatile processor for the stage and the studio.